Hey guys, it's Miss Allison and Miss Tammy with you on one of our adventures. We're coming to see a few of you right now for your blessing of the backpack gift. But we're going to talk to you this morning about Moses and the birth of Moses and how God protects us. So right before Moses was born, the Pharaoh had said that all Israelites who had new babies and the babies were boys would have to be killed. But there were two midwives, which midwives are people that help babies be born. There were two midwives that decided they could not do what the Pharaoh had asked and that they wanted to protect those baby boys and would not kill them. And you know what? God protected them. God made sure that the Pharaoh did not kill them for those actions of disobeying him. But God protected them and the babies. Then in Exodus 2, we learn about the birth of Moses and how Moses was also protected with his family. His mom and dad were Levites and they gave birth to Moses quietly and made sure to hide him for three months. Then after three months, they felt like it was unsafe for them to keep taking care of Moses. And so his mom made a very difficult decision and decided to put him in a basket and float him down the river. And you know who found Moses down the river? It was the Pharaoh's daughter, the same man who said that all baby boys who were Israelites needed to be killed. How cool is that, that God shows that a change can be made in man. So the Pharaoh's daughter decided that she could not kill this little boy. And she ended up hiring Moses' real mom to take care of him and to feed him and to get to watch him grow up. I think that is so awesome. And Pharaoh learned a lesson from his daughter of the importance of taking care of others. So I want you to think about how God has protected you. You know, God protects us in so many ways. Many of us are blessed to have not been um, impacted by this virus. So God has protected us through that. God protects us with the opportunity to go to school every day, whether that's virtual or in person. And we need to remember and be thankful for what God has done for us and for what God allows us to continue to do. So I pray this week that you thank your parents for the protection and the love that they give you. And remember that God is always with you. Let us pray. Dear Lord, please continue to be with all of our young disciples and their families through this time. I pray that you will comfort them and give them peace and just help them with their virtual learning and their new experiences of life. Please keep us safe and watch over us and continue to protect us in all our days. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful week. Miss Tammy and I hope to see you real soon.